Hi, what's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new to my channel, hi, my name's Alyssa. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Um, I have been getting a lot of questions lately about potty training a puppy. You guys are getting new puppies and are very curious on the first things to teach them. So potty training can be a little difficult at times. I feel like it also depends on the breed. But overall, I think it's pretty simple once you follow these steps. So I'm gonna go ahead and explain how I potty train my puppies. At the moment, I do have a French Bulldog puppy, and so far, he's the most stubborn puppy to potty train. And I've actually potty trained, I wanna say at least four French Bulldogs, and they're all the same. Uh, let me know if that's any different for you. But they are pretty stubborn at first, but of course, I feel like every dog gets used to it and eventually learns. Three main things to make your life a little easier when it comes to potty training. And then I have a little bit more left at the end of the video. So getting right into it, the number one thing, of course, to do right away is to make a schedule for your dog. And this just means, you know, taking them out every hour, every two. The typical rule is to take them out half of what they are of age in time <laughs> so let me make this clear of course so let's say typically people get their dogs around two months and half of two is one every hour you'd have to take them out that's actually a max because at two months puppies pee quite frequently and i'm usually taking them out every like 30 minutes 30 40 minutes but one hour is like a really rough estimate you cannot go beyond that or you will find for sure an accident inside your home my schedule usually consists of right now my dog is about to be six months so three hours is his max i do take him out at three in the morning then at seven then he stays outside during the afternoon until three after that it's six o'clock when i get home and then at nine o'clock so you get what i'm trying to say it's just a schedule you know something that works with you i did say at 3 a.m yes you have to be committed to take them out during the night time the younger they are the more you have to wake up at night when he was two months i would wake up two times at night i think it was like one in the morning and four in the morning until i had to wake up to go to work so you just have to make a schedule that works for you but you have to commit to it your dog will end up getting this type of schedule and remembering it or whatnot and they will wait to go during those times that you set so my tip number two is crate training it's not something that you have to keep them there at all times i keep puppy pads in there also for accidents i'm not wanting them to go in the crate it's just in case he does end up going in the crate then it's easier to pick up but that's not the goal the goal is for him to not even have to use the puppy pads puppy pads are going to be a really important necessity to have during potty training i really like this concept the one that they sent me was a little large but they do have different sizes so huge <laughs> the surface is very comfortable and soft and the bottom you can see is a material that really holds in all that liquid when introducing the washable puppy pads, the costs for puppy pads are reduced extremely. You're not gonna need to buy puppy pads over and over again. It can end up being expensive in the long run. So having a reusable, rewashable puppy pad is always really good to have. But the crate does help because it minimizes the space that they have to roam. Typically, they say that dogs will not want to go where they sleep they won't want to go potty the same place that they sleep. So crate training is good for that. With my experience with French Bulldogs though, they still go, they even step on their poop all the time. They're the only dogs so far that I see that happening. I don't know why they do it, but they do. So I try to ma minimize their time in the crate and it's kind of hard to do. It just means you have to monitor them more. And of course, like I said, limit their space. So you might trust them in a room and not necessarily the whole house yet. Sectioning, maybe you don't have a crate and you wanna do like a part of your kitchen, um, putting baby gates, 
or pet gates around and having them in there and then taking them in and out just in those two rooms outside and the kitchen just something like that just don't try to keep them roaming around the whole house because there will be an accident and you won't be able to catch them on time so catching them on time is really important because that's how they learn not to go because they get punished my tip number three is having a designated area to go potty outside so i try to keep it to like a little corner and typically dogs will choose like their preferred place to go outside go potty outside but sometimes they're also going to go in places that you don't want them to and they'll just kind of make it their spot so what i like to do i actually when we moved into our new place we did end up making a dog run for them and it's as simple as you wait for them to go potty there you reward them with a treat once they do go potty where you want them to and it could take a long time but just be patient you have to wait until they go potty and that could be the most tough part about it sometimes you won't have enough time that's why i also made a dog run so like they can have their own time to just go whenever they want in the place that i want them to but the thing when it comes to potty training and if you don't want them to go in the house is you have to watch them until they go potty and then you reward them when they do go potty outside say something like good job potty you went potty reference that word that you want them to know and just give them a treat or extra attention or something that they'd enjoy and love honorable mentions number two is teaching them the command potty so if you do it enough time the consistency and stuff if you say go potty go potty they'll know what potty means they will remember i guess you know hey that one time i went potty they use that word so you know they put two and two together and that's how i taught my girls my australian shepherds i even point to where i want them to go potty and i'll be like go potty go potty and they'll even just go right on command another tip i kind of already explained is i guess just keeping a close eye on them when they are around the house and walking around look out for some cues that they might be expressing which would be you know sniffing excessively on the floor whimpering whining uh, being next to the door those are kind of signs that they want to go outside you know that they kind of got that you want them to go outside they still need your help to understand in understanding how they're trying to tell you that they need to go outside so just looking after them paying attention and you know just recognizing those cues some dogs don't even give cues and it's really hard to but you have to just kind of figure it out my last tip and this can like actually be pretty important is just letting your dog not be accessible to water 24 7 and this is because they can just drink too much water and they're gonna go pee excessively throughout the day instead of your time frame like every one hour like i said in the beginning of the video for every hour it's gonna be like every 10 minutes and you're like what's wrong with my dog it's because they're drinking way too much water and they need just you know like their bladders aren't that big yet and they're just gonna have to keep on going and keep on going so limit their water keep tabs on how much water they drink if they drink too much just know they're gonna go more often so this has been a long awaited video i do have another video about potty training and i'll link it down below and it just goes more in depth these are just kind of my tips straight on and explaining how they work the other video is more on how to do it and you know actually showing you guys step by step so thank you guys so much for watching if you want to check out my channel i do have more tips on training and all that dog related if you enjoyed this video please leave a like so i know that you did like it and i can make more and i do have more on my channel uh tips and tricks on dogs everything dog related i do have australian shepherds french bulldog basset hound and subscribe while you're there it helps the channel out and it's completely free but other than that thank you guys so much for watching and i'll catch you guys in the next one bye